today with a fun little video. So today we're going to do a huge quarantine shopping haul. So we just came back from Walmart and Stop and Shop. So I want to show you guys all the things that we got today. So I'm super excited. Some of the stuff we got is just stuff like we're replenishing on. Obviously we ran out of toilet paper. We ran out of paper towel. And just about like... All the essentials if you know what I mean so guys I'm gonna just get right into it um, we did get some food stuff as well too and some ice cream some keto ice cream that I want to show you guys so let's all right guys so I'm gonna show you guys the items that I already have out and then we're gonna go ahead and dip into this bag so we can see all the extra goodies now just starting off if you guys are interested in this jumpsuit that I have on it's from Fashion Nova I do have my J scope fitness belt underneath because you guys know I gotta stay snatched all Rona season so I'll leave the links down below for this jumpsuit from Fashion Nova and my J scope fitness belt down below as well so let's just start so obviously you guys can see got some garbage bags I always get the hefty ones um, 30 gallon large trash bags with the jawstring just because it's easier Pull, put it in the uh, trash can, pull it out, and you're good to go. So I got that. I also got bubbly. I like the mango flavor, and I also like the cherry flavor. If you guys have ever tried the apple flavor, the apple flavor is bomb, but they did not have that one in stock. They only had lime, which is trash, so I didn't get that. So we always go for the mango or the cherry flavor, which is good. Now, we did get some clear water bottles. Trying to drink more water. So obviously the blue one's my boyfriend's, and the purple one is mine. They're only a dollar a piece, and I figured, like, we could just... We have the filtered Brita water, so we can just fill these up and have water. Try to keep up or stay tuned with our water. Did get some basic Huggies natural care wipes. Now, I usually get the Walmart Equate brand of flushable wipes because sometimes you don't want to throw these in the garbage. It's easier to flush it. Um, so, Equate brand, the Walmart brand, has the flushable ones, but they were out of stock. They took those wipes and just gone. So this is the only one that was left. I like this one too. This is the Huggies Natural Care. This one, I've never seen this. And I was actually reading this one on the one I had at the house. It's um, with 99% 99 water that is pure, that's filtered three times. I don't know why they add that part in there, but I looked at it. I was like, oh, okay. So it must be really qual real quality stuff. So I got three pack of this one. We did end up getting some paper towel. Walmart sells this paper towel, which is 98 cents, guys. The paper towel ain't even enough, but I got two of these. Went to my mom's house and picked up one. I mean, that'll do as much as it can, to be honest. But it's not the best paper towel, but they don't really have that much at Walmart, so you got to go for what they have. So I do need another cutting board so I got the tasties you guys always ask me in my cooking videos what knives I use I use the tasty knives they're very good and inexpensive you can get the three piece at Walmart for $12.99 so I end up getting a chopping board because I do have a wood chopping board here um, I use it sometimes I'll flip the sides over clean it it just gets annoying it's I rather just have one for meat and one for veggies which you should or you could just be a real good cleaner and clean both sides of one to make sure that you're not cross contaminating so I just I decided to go ahead and grab another one since I was at Walmart anyway. I said, whatever, we're going to do it. So I got this. I'm not sure how much money this cutting board was, guys, but I'm sure it wasn't that expensive because I'm cheap and I don't, if it's expensive, I'm probably not going to get it. Okay, we also did go ahead and get some toilet paper. So I got the Charmin. Uh, they only had this much. The packs didn't even come that much. They were just putting these on the shelf and I snatched one up. So this is only nine rolls. It says it does. It's equal to 36 regular rolls. We'll see. As long as the paper's soft, because honestly, I feel like a lot of the stores are selling that rough paper that cuts your butt up. So we're happy that we got some soft paper. I was going across the street to the grocery store and getting paper, and that paper was so rough. We had a really bad morning where the toilet was clogged up for about an hour or two from that paper. So um, we ain't gonna do that again. So yeah, TMI, I know. So we did get some grocery items, guys. So let me just pull them out to show you guys. Well, I had to get a Cure-Rite cleaner kit. I kind of swore before we moved I had I bought one. Must have misplaced it while we were moving, but I need to clean out the cure because I want my coffee to be a little bit more fresh. Well, you got to clean out anyway, so I did go ahead and pick up the cure pack. So I'm going to clean that out this weekend, probably on Sunday, because you got to... You gotta keep up with stuff like that. I did get some ice cream cones because I have some keto ice cream. These keto cones actually are four net carbs, guys. So, I mean, it is what it is. We're gonna treat ourselves. We're not gonna cheat ourselves this run of season. So, I did go ahead and get some ice cream cones. I did get some avocado oil this time. I did not get um, olive oil. I just ended up buying avocado oil. Unfortunately, when I went to Walmart, they had no olive oil, which is kind of crazy. So I saw avocado oil. Avocado oil is pretty good, guys. So I said, you know what? We're going to go with the avocado oil. So I was excited about that. 
got some basic cleaning house supplies. I got my pledge cleaning. You guys don't know I'm I'm a allergic person. I'm allergic to dust, mites, everything like that, like constantly. And the season right now is not good for me. So I got the pledge cleaner, dust and allergen, multi-service cleaner. I'm gonna try this out and try to clean up the house one good time on Sunday. Get all these dust mites out just because your girl be suffering. Now I also did get Windex. Well, this is the generic brand. It's all the same thing. It's just the marketing and the branding. Um, so I did get the Great Value Glass Cleaner because I need to clean up some of these glasses in here. Uh, we also got some a lot of food products, guys. So we got some sausage links, some Butterball All Natural Turkey Breakfast Sausage Links. You guys know I love the Butterball Turkey, um, the Turkey Bacon. So I've never tried this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Um, we also got some chicken broth, which I always get. I always get chicken broth. Um, and we went this time for the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. I regularly don't do stuff like this, but I said since it's ruined the season, we're gonna go for it. And I guess baby father wants it, so I had to get it for him. Right, babe? <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna do another project. You guys know, what the hell? Did you know the hair dye had a, had a thing in it? What? What is that? The hair dye has this huge freaking you put your, that boy probably popped a hole in the bottle. There's an annoying ass. You gonna bring it to me? Anyway. All right guys, so I also did get here that I'm gonna do a project. Got a 613 blonde wig that I wanna ash out. I always do one of these every season, so why not do it again this season? So I did get some of the medium ash blonde, number 70 Revlon. I got that, I got some one dark ash blonde, I believe. I got some medium ash blondes, and I think I got one dark ash blonde, which is number 60, and a number 50, which is a light ash brown. So I'm gonna do a full ash blonde unit with um, light ash brown uh, roots. So you guys will see that when that happens. These are $2.68 at Walmart. This is by far the cheapest hair dye I've seen. And to be honest with y'all, this hair dye on the low is pretty solid. Like, if you want to, like, tone your hair, if you have, like, a 613 blonde wig and you want to tone it, I personally feel like this product is pretty good. I've tried it maybe, like, for the last three to four years, and it's pretty, it's been pretty good for me. So let me know what y'all think. If y'all have used it before, um, it's pretty good. So we did get some bananas, and we also got two avocados. The avocados are kind of, like... You know, like you get the avocados and you don't eat it fast enough, it kind of spoils. With me, I like a lot of avocado. My boyfriend doesn't really like avocado like that. So I'll try to eat it when I know, like I can mix it into something that he's going to eat it with. So with avocado now, I just kind of get like two and then see how far that, that goes. So that's what we got. I also got some plates. Some regular, great value, everyday plates. Um, this, what is this, a 50 pack? Oh, it's a hundred pack. So I got the smaller size because I felt like I was wasting money buying the white plates that I had before. So I got this smaller size because I'm like, it's a hundred, it should last us. Or use a damn napkin instead of using a plate. Yeah, I'm a grown man, I don't eat off my paper plate. <laughs> okay guys, so we also got some house um, entree chicken seasoning breading. I got this in case I want to make some fried wings. Don't judge me, okay? I still make sure I watch my count, my carb count. Yeah. So I got this just to fry up some chicken. Now we also got biotin for babe. He wants some of this stuff. I'm probably gonna take it too anyways. It's for hair, skin, and health. So we're gonna use this. You guys know I take multivitamins every day. I take them every single day, the chewable tablets, but it's always nice to add some extra supplements into your life. So we got some biotin. I got some turkey hot dogs. These are my favorite turkey hot dogs. Like these are the best. The best. And they're low carb as well too. If I have these, I had these, maybe like three of these cut up, air fried with some sugar free ketchup. Bomb. Bomb. We also got some nice Truvia, natural sweet. Um, you guys are probably like, get monk fruit or get something else. Bro, it's all the same. The only difference is some of this should be more expensive than other, and this was well priced, so your girl got it. I also got some Eucinex because I do have like a little phlegm, uh, allergic phlegm you can call it. That's what my doctor says. So I got some Eucinex to break up some of the phlegm that's sitting at the top of my throat. Why do I still have this in my hand? 
yeah so i got that now i also did get some foundation i want to just um test out colors maybelline fit me foundation is very inexpensive at walmart you can get this for five dollars and 68 cents so i opted to get another one i bought one last week that's the number 350 so i went and got the number 358 latte just because i felt like it was a perfect shade for me it's like more of like a cool tone color and then i also got the 50 cafe concealer as well too so i just went in and got some affordable foundation just because we can't really go to sephora do i really want to wait for an delivery? from Sephora or will I just spend five dollars on some foundation so I went for the five dollar foundation I've done this in the past before drugstore foundation is just as good as that expensive shit you get from Sephora so I did go ahead and pick out some more concealer and foundation I'm planning to do some more makeup tutorials so you guys have to wait to see that so let's jump into the second bag because I know this part was long as fuck all right guys I know you guys are probably looking at the bags it's super interesting so this reusable bag came from Burlington um, in New York City at March 2020 they stopped using plastic bags you have to pay for it. Connecticut was on that probably a year ago um, but New York just started that so I usually get my reusable bags from Burlington Target or Primark. This one right here is from Primark. She's super pretty. Um, Primark already was with the game a long time ago. They was already selling their own personal reusable bags. Um, but this one is from Burlington. I always get the fancy ones because I feel like if you're going to go shopping, you might as well go shopping cute, right? Yeah. So today we tried something different. So we want to do like a little activity at home. So we went and picked out some soil and some seeds because we are gonna plant so we did get the pot um the seven pot seed starters so we can start some plants um what did i do with the seeds okay here we go so we did get um like some sunflowers we got two sunflowers didn't we cone cone flowers okay i never heard of that one but we got this one and we got sunflowers, so we're going to try to go ahead and plant us some flowers. And if that works out, it is actually the season. If you look at the back of these, it tell you what season these plants grow. So we're within the season right now, so hopefully these will grow really nice. And if we're successful with it, we'll try to grow like little veggies, like peppers, green beans. Yeah. So corny. But we're going to try something out. I mean, it's quarantine season. I mean... We're two grown folks. We're trying to do something fun. So we got this. It wasn't expensive anyways. I think the pot was like $5 a piece. This this was like 5 bucks. Walmart. So we're going to start a little project. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on my IG when it starts growing. So y'all know I'm keeping her alive or him alive. So we did get some bagels. Babe wanted some bagels. So we got everything bagels. We're going to have to grab some cream and cheese. But we don't really eat stuff like this. This is new for us. We don't really eat stuff like this. That ass. This is probably an exciting moment for my boyfriend because he can eat all the junk food. Honestly and truly, we do not eat stuff like this at this house. At all. At all. My sisters are like, I torture my boyfriend with my healthy lifestyle, but it is what it is. We did get some party cups. It says party on cups, but you know. You gotta have these types of cups at home. We have like a nice drink or whatever. We put them in these nice big cup party cups. They're super inexpensive at Walmart too. I usually get the red cups, but they have those pretty cups. My boyfriend picked out the blue ones. Um, we also did get some... Um, potato bread now this is the best potato bread if you get a regular style or that butter style what is this Martin's uh, potato bread now we got it in the whole wheat version obviously because we're trying to keep it a little healthy but if you get the regular potato bread in this brand this is the best why is this hair in my mouth this is like the best potato bread ever created come for me if y'all don't believe me on that one for real so we got those so we did get like like I said, an extra paper towel that I had before. I also got a few other cute little things. Um, obviously, I don't know if I showed you guys. Did I tell you guys I got these face masks? Did I even get into the things that was here? I didn't even show you guys the face masks I got. So I did get some kind of like Cosmo, cosmetic kind of stuff. So I did get the spa scription uh, face mask. So I got a purifying mask, an age defining mask, and a glowing mask. It just came in a multi-pack, guys. I wanted to try it out. It also comes with the brush so you can actually put the mask on. So like I said, we're just chilling at this time right now. We want to kind of, you know, do some like self-care, spa care, and stuff like that. I regularly don't do stuff like this, like on the real, why well, I lied. I would do this at home. I wouldn't pay somebody out there to do it for me but still so I decided to take advantage of it now and just do some cute little spa at home some mask go I'll let you guys know how this goes I was skeptical in the beginning because I've never ever used this brand before and my face is super sensitive when it comes to putting stuff on it so I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about this so I did go ahead and dad so I did go ahead and get some aches and pains muscle relief mineral bath soak I just like this stuff bro it's really good 
So I usually get like one or two of those packs. I also got a vapor in here, like I said. I have a little nasal congestion for my allergies, so I just get one of these just to help me out. I also got... Where's the stuff I got? I also got some hair ties because my... These ponies be a little bit long, so I need something to hold my hair together. So I got some hair ties. I always get the name, the store brand Equate just because it cut the cost and it's the same thing. Don't get fooled by the advertisement that you're paying for. It's the same freaking thing. So I got the Equate brand. I also got some uh, mix. So I did get some wing mix. I do have cauliflower head that I want to do some cauliflower wings. So I want to do that. And I also have some regular chicken. So I want to do some chicken wings. Um, so I got the garlic parmesan wing seasoning mix. And I also got the classic buffalo wing seasoning mix. I never had these. These are the great value Walmart brand. So I was like, you know what? So let's go and try it. And we're going to see how it goes. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, obviously, the bu wow, the buffalo one got carbs in it. We don't have to finesse this, but I wanted to try it out, especially on the um, cauliflower wings. You really got to put your foot in that one because it can be kind of a nasty flavor. So I'm going to try these out for that. And then, guys, I did go ahead and pick up some towels just because we kind of need... I'm like really weird. I don't know if anyone does the same thing that I do. If I've had towels for like about like three to four months, regardless if I clean the towel or whatever, like we wash your clothes... I'm the type of person that after three to four months, I throw the towels out and buy new towels. I don't know. It's I'm I'm cheap as fuck, so it's not me trying to be a baller bitch, cause that's not happening. I'm not trying to live. I'm not trying to portray that lifestyle. I keep it real cheap and keep the coins. So um, I usually wait every three to four months and I throw them out and just get fresh ones, just because y'all know y'all don't even be hanging around with no tight terry cloth towel hanging by this by a little string. So I always like. Once I feel the towel is getting a little dingy or whatever, I'll always go out and buy new towels. So I just picked out four kind of, you know, decent quality towels from Walmart. Kind of kept the color theme a little bit the same. You could kind of see that. This one is the one I chose, obviously, trying to be extra with a little kind of like shaded design on it. But they were pretty inexpensive, guys. Nothing more than like $13 a pop. So I said we can go for this one today. And I also did get some plain old face wash, um, face wipes, well, face towels. And that's about it. All right, guys, so I almost forgot to show you guys what I got from Stop and Shop. So I did go ahead and pick out the Rebel ice cream. You guys have been going crazy telling me to try this. I did try this last week, guys, and I'm not going to lie. Hands down, the strawberry flavor to me is by far the best. When I tell you this tastes so close to strawberry Hagen dodge ice cream, I am not joking to you whatsoever. Like, thank you guys so much for the recommendations on this. You obviously see that my big ass had to get two of the strawberries. I did go ahead and get the cookies and cream. I've never had the cookies and cream before, but I'm going to go ahead and try the cookies and cream out because I feel like if the strawberry tastes that close to Hagen dodge like I know that the cookies and the cream is going to be really good. But like I said, thank you guys so much for the recommendations for this one. I highly, 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 highly recommend trying the Rebel ice cream. If you guys want me to do like a video where I buy like six flavors and test them out all one by one in front of you guys, leave your comments down below. But baby, this right here, the business keto life changer right here so that basically wraps up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's walmart shopping haul i'll try to leave some of the items down below if you guys are interested in anything that i showed in today's video but do not forget guys to thumbs up this video leave your comments down below subscribe and share this video with your friends and family people and i will catch you guys in a later one Bye.